Hello guys, I finally managed to get my hands on uh, um, 1070, oh, sorry, 3070 RTX uh, Asus Dual Core, it's 8 GB and I thought I should just go through this. I usually don't do it, uh, the unboxing and stuff like that, but as this product is a bit um, unicorn-like uh, status at the moment, so I thought I should just uh, do the uh, quick, um, you know, let's go through and uh, unboxing of this um, so this is the card um, if you can see and uh, let's try to open it and see what we have inside so I got it by the way from scan after looking for at least a uh, month and a half and uh, through different discord servers and everything but at the end of the day someone in the discord uh, just uh, told uh, just put it in the chat that uh, it's available in the scan i couldn't get into the scan then i eventually got it uh, i tried to get in through my my desktop um through desktop side i i also tried through the laptop but eventually i tried uh, the mobile phone and uh, it, it basically went through and yeah so what do we have here so this is the card and this is uh, some sort of uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, some some card which okay. So this is the card which is which says dual something something something. Uh, so anyways, yeah. And then we have here some booklet, some warranty card maybe in there. Uh, and check it yeah so thank you and stuff like that anyways so this is the card and if i can put it here i'm not sure it's going to come into my uh, this is the old one this is gtx uh, 30 sorry 1070 the hard i got it from the from boots and uh, you can see there's a lot of dust going around because we were trying to get some stuff moving in the house and all the dust is sticking in so that's that uh, let me just turn on this light here so yeah so this is it uh, I'm gonna try to take it out of this box and then I'll I'll explain again uh, what this car looks like all right so I manage to follow these steps here and it basically asks me to take it out and then it's, you know flat and then take these things out from here it's gonna remove this here now and here is the card i'm hoping it's not stuck somewhere again so yeah i can get hold of this card now if you can see this card is quite big now and from here you can see it is an uh, lcd here the pins uh, there are, i think eight pins card okay oh looks nice okay and uh, the fans and all the stuff uh let's see nice pretty nice um yeah i don't know what is in this here if there's anything it's just a you know there for the reason so i'm just gonna take all this stuff out and you know what i'll come back to you guys yeah so so uh if you can see here this is this is a plastic this is a this is all plastic on top here and then if you can look at the back here uh it's a it's it's um metal so so this part here is the metal i'm not sure if this is a memory module it's supposed to be touching this uh thing with uh, some kind of uh you know um you know some kind of uh transfer of heat kind of a thingy so i'm not sure how how, how it's gonna run but looking at this uh it's an asus so hoping it's gonna be all right so i think there's a there are two modes here if you can if i can show you 
so the mode here is just quiet mode and the performance mode performance mode most probably going to be uh, a bit more uh, noisy now there's like uh, two four six eight eight pins goodness me so total 16 pins gonna go inside here i have a uh, ce 550 as psu so i'm gonna try it on that in the beginning I tried to take a look at PC parts and some other, uh, you know, websites. They're saying that uh, that should be enough with what I'm using. I will still have a headroom of around 100 uh, watts, but I'm going to upgrade it from uh, 550 uh, to at least 650 or 700 possibly uh, in the future. But I'm going to try to put it in and then I'll show you. Again, I'm not doing any kind of... Um, uh, you know, checks on this card. So I just, uh, you know, I'm just going to show you the unboxing part of it. And I'm going to put it in and then show you how it looks inside. Yeah. As, um, this is how my PC looks uh, at the moment. As you can see that the PS2 power supply is 550 at the moment. Bronze 80 plus power. Obviously, I'm going to. I'm going to change that um i was not expecting the delivery to be coming next day uh, but it's here and uh, today is um saturday anyway so i'm going to try to find another psu so not a flashy kind of a build here just a simple one i got this uh, 1070 kaf2 um 1070 exoc from ebay because i was trying to make a new build i was not looking into anything flashy or anything like that you will just play World of Warship and stuff like that. Sometimes I stream or, or do some stuff, but not most of the time. So this is uh, what it is um, inside here. So it's going to, so the card, the new card is going to come and, uh, you know, get into into there at the moment. I'm going to explain to you how what that card is as well. Uh, it's a good card, not giving me any kind of, uh, you know, trouble at all. Uh, um, bit noisy, maybe it is because of the fans in there, which runs like, uh, all the time i don't know it because there was some issues with the 1070 gtx let us say that uh, the, with the kfa2 uh, company that uh, these fans uh, constantly run at 50 plus uh, 50 percent and plus um, you know uh, kind of uh, you know uh, okay you understand what i mean <laughs> Well, guys, just quickly want to uh, share with you that this is my current PC where I am using it with the um, GeForce GTX 1070. It's um, KFA2 uh, Extreme Overclock Edition. Uh, runs pretty well. Um, obviously, it's a used one, so uh, it's a bit noisy. I'm going to try to take a look. If it was noisy, it was on my fans, which are noisy because they're on PMWs and the two of them here. Uh, so um was just going for the for the budget build um but at the end uh managed to make it a bit more expensive uh but yeah that's how it is because uh it's a lockdown and you can't try to find something you just uh go and look for it and uh uh you know <laughs> you eventually find it and you you have to find next hobby uh anyways um i'll i'll get back to you and i'm gonna put it in and try to run it at uh, that power supply hopefully it's gonna work also as you can see here i'm gonna just quickly show you um the hdmi there's two hdmi and then there are three uh three three other ports over there so i don't know if you can focus and see it or not so that's that's that so here are the two cards side by side i'm just taking it out from this um my system uh and uh, as you can see this is kfa this is kfa2 1070 uh, very nice looking card and this is sus 1070 so in terms of their length they're almost similar but in terms of their width, as I've shown you the previous, uh, previously, it's quite big card. So uh, let's see how it's gonna fit in, yeah? So here it is, uh, while putting it inside, it was uh, a tight uh, fit. As you can see here, the wires coming in, coming out of there. I'm not sure it's gonna put any stress on it, but I, I felt it's not that much stress coming on um onto that so that's gonna be all right 
Now, only worry that I have is, is, is the distance between these two spaces because uh, I don't know if the air is going to come out or, or not, or it's going to go inside. Anyways, I'm going to take a look at the temperature and see how it's going to get by touching this plate and see what's happening. But uh, most of these cards are now using less power. So fingers crossed and uh, see if I can I can change this position from here if I can bring these wires from there and maybe get it through here I don't know maybe change the whole case in the future for one bloody card but <laughs> yeah let's see let's see how it's gonna work um I'm gonna turn it on and see if everything is is good let me just uh, quickly check um if everything is connected yeah all right guys a moment of truth um with this voltage let's see how things gonna turn out to be I'm pressing it on. See if something's happening. Or not. Possibly. So nothing is going on. That's odd. Okay. Yeah, so if you can see the LEDs are not that much on that. Let me bring it some darkness and see if we can try to get something out of it. Okay, if you can see here, I have just changed the 750M because on 550 CV, this card was not working. And now I've changed that. I waited for a couple of days for that to arrive. It was changed to 750M, uh, TX750M, what? And now it's working and it was not working on 550. Basically, the system sh shut down. So, just to give you an update, yeah. Nice working, here's the power.